I cannot tell you now, but we are trying our very best to put order in this country. We are racked with uh, so many problems, kidnapping in the South, terrorism, drugs, which is really pulling us down. And uh, I can say that uh, we would need time, I said, to put everything in order. I, uh, that self-imposed time of three to six months. Well, I did not realize how severe and how serious the problem of drug uh, menace in this republic until I became president. So when I started to press everybody, so it was like the worm out of the gun. And uh, nobody would have believed that uh, there would be about 700,000 new uh, guys, uh, maybe in the in the drug business uh, that have surrendered to the police and military. But uh, the problem is, uh, those headlines, I cannot kill them all. You see, even if I wanted to. I mean, that was what I said. I prefaced my statement. Even if I wanted to, I cannot kill them all because the last report would be this thick. And uh, prominent, really, are barangay captains who are there. And just like other places, 
barangay captains connive or cooperate for extent assistance to terrorists and drugs. Everything down here, it seems to be, well, in Manila, but down here on the ground, it's really a, a, a far different from what we would like to see that would happen. Uh, I have, uh, I, I think I will give it to Congress uh, to decide. Kaya sabi ko, hindi ko kaya to, basta gusto. Even if I wanted to. But it was cut short by saying, I cannot kill the monster. That's what the inquiry came out. Is it, even if I wanted to, I said to the soldiers yes, yesterday, I cannot do it. This thing. And that is why I joined the call for the postponement of the barangay elections. You know why? Because if we hold the elections now, drug money is still going around. And the barangay captains, most of them are really into it. They would just stay in power and this time they have the money. And they will win. So we'll have a narco politics on the lowest government unit, which is the barangay. And that will be the start of our, maybe, our perdition on the agony. Hindi ko pwede mag-election tayo ngayon. Maraming, marami talaga ba dito sa mga. And I never realized it. I, 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 I didn't even know. I said, I, I am a president who holds office. I do not investigate. I do not ask questions. I only receive reports from the military and the police and the validation of the day. So this new list was there before me about two months ago, but I ordered a re-validation just to make sure. And... Uh, but uh, what's really funny, the Alcala, we knew that uh, somebody was operating there, but uh, with a, you know, I, I never, I, I told the police to be very careful, set it up, do a clean job, get the witnesses to be there, including the media when you arrive, so that you'll have a good story and we can proceed. So that's how bad things are right now. But just give me a little extension, maybe of uh, another six months. Then I, I there was nobody ever. I just have that idea that there was hundreds of thousands of people already in the drug business. And what is what makes it all is that they are operated now by people in government, especially those elected positions. So it will be government versus government. Nakita ninyo? Those is barangay captains sat around with guns, with bodyguards. So we'll just have to defang them, get the police out of as bodyguards. I will now uh, order uh, I will not allow any policeman to act as a bodyguard of a barangay captain. If you think that you are afraid of being killed, you are there in the rural areas by the NPAs, then do not run for public office. Find another occupation. But uh, because from the, from the looks of it, it was really, it's a government already doing the operation, the illegal they just don't realize it because it's not their country. But now we go back now to the order and disorder. The, the best thing that happened uh, this week to us was really the release of uh, the TAN because uh, we were able to complete our promise to the Norway, which is uh, giving us the good offices for a uh, uh, space to talk vis-a-vis -vis with the Communist Party of the Philippines. It has provided good offices to several countries, for so many countries. 
and I salute uh, the ambassador of the country for being uh, peaceful. And uh, I was joking to the ambassador. Uh, you are the descendants of the Viking, who were really fierce uh, fighters. If there is a group there still remaining, could you just bring them here and uh, we'll just let them loose somewhere in Basilan? But uh, the Slavs are, uh, are, are very peaceful uh, race now. And uh, again, uh, just uh, salamat for uh, helping. And of course, he's the only one who can do it because he has the problems of Mindanao at his fingertips. He's been there for quite a time. And if we succeed now, that, th that would be a long journey also for him. From the time of Mr. Ramos, to President Arroyo and now hopefully in the fullness of God's time we will be able to uh, establish really law and order in this country. There are simply too many gangsters and terrorists. There are simply too many battles of terrorism. I assure you and I said uh, but when the time comes, I will inform you. I'll just inform you that uh, you'll be able to catch up. It's, uh, nothing else except that, uh, I'm just saying, uh, your travel is in life are over. Until such time that we get the... They want road justice. We will we'll give them. That's what they want. Uh, it is all for the evening. The ambassador is... Uh, flying out uh, at 10, he's going to just stay behind, maybe, ah, he's also leaving, ah. he might want to just go around, but uh, near my city, not the island, I do not have the control over those, but you know, I said terrorism is everywhere, New York just blew up, so, wala, there is no escape of terrorism, that is the next great battle of the century. Terrorism and civilization. Those who believe in civilization, those who believe uh, maybe it will spell the end.